Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. Today we are going to learn how a waste walk is to be done in a lean project. So before we understand what is a waste walk and how it has to be conducted, let us first understand what are different types of waste which exist in the processes. Overall, there are eight types of waste which exist. Number one is defects. Number two is overproduction. Number three is waiting. Number four is non-utilizing talent. Number five is transportation. Number six is inventory. Number seven is motion waste. And number eight is extra processing. To remember these eight waste, the acronym that is used is called downtime. D-O-W-N-T-I-M-E Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is 8 Steps to Problem Solving, which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement the Lean Way, which talks about the lean concepts. Any product or service that are not meeting customer specification is a defect. Producing more than the demand is overproduction. Waiting for the product or the service from previous step is a waiting type of a waste. Employees or machines not utilized at their full potential is non-utilizing talent. Unnecessary transportation of products and material is also known as transportation waste. Unplanned inventory, it could be excess raw material or not maintaining minimum inventory levels is a waste. Unnecessary movement of human beings is also a waste. It is known as motion waste. And performing any activity that is not necessary to produce a functioning product or the service is called extra processing. So all these wastes are pretty evident in a manufacturing kind of an environment. But when we go into services industry, these are hard to find. In today's video, I am going to take an example of invoice processing and I will take you guys through how a waste walk is conducted and these wastes are identified in the process. If you look at this screen, this is the process flow of invoice processing. The first step is the invoice is received. Second step is invoice is recorded and matched. Third step is invoice is approved. Fourth step is submit the invoice for payment. And the fifth step is invoice recorded and archived. So I will take you through a process for which I did this waste walk. So this waste walk was done for a manual invoice processing. These invoices were received manually at the mail room. And when the invoices were received at the mail room, they were brought to the accounts payable department. So there was a motion waste. So the department is very far away from the main gate. So that was human motion waste which was happening. So this is the first waste that has been identified in the process. The invoices were collected from the gate and they were stored in the collection box till the time they are processed. So the inventory was built up in that particular invoice box. There was huge waiting between these process steps. So one person who had done the processing and the second person has not received it or they have not started working on the process immediately. So there was a lot of waiting waste happening between the process steps. There was extra processing at invoice recorded and matched step because when the invoice was recorded and it was matched, it was found out that there were some duplicate invoices sent by the customer. There were defects which were there at these particular process steps. For example, the person who is processing and recording the invoice has made an error while processing the invoice. They have entered the wrong date, wrong amount or the vendor name. And when we looked at the system, there was some licenses which were procured by AP team. They were not utilizing all these licenses. Some of them were only there and they were not used. So the entire year was passed and those licenses were wasted. It would have enhanced their process efficiency if they would have used those licenses. That's non-utilizing talent of the machine that we were using. So friends, if you look at this process, most of the ways which we discussed in the previous slide are identified. It is not necessary that each process has all the eight ways. So if you figure out that 
there are four or five ways which are existing in the process. You need to identify their source and eliminate those ways. This will improve the process efficiency. With the help of this particular waste walk, we were able to save three full-time resources and we were also able to reduce the overall turnaround time of invoice processing from seven days to two days. I hope you would have understood what are these eight ways and how the waste walk is conducted. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I will see you in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is 8 Steps to Problem Solving, which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement, The Lean Way, which talks about the lean concepts.